back to my channel cooking peas and grits and this all my preparation right here we have celery and we have sweet peppers onion and tomatoes using seasoning and maggie and maggie chicken cube and black pepper green peas with coconut milk dry thyme and a an secret ingredient that I will not show you all guys I mean I will show you all how it look but um, I gotta put that in something because it's a secret ingredient guys so we're cooking peas and grits and we're using the Quaker Quaker grits so this is what we're cooking peas and grits that's a bohemian dish so I'll be right back with you guys we're frying down our ingredients in the pot and we'll be adding our seasoning and, uh, and all our stuff and put that together and guys we're doing that with minced fish so this is the minced fish my husband cooking it I don't cook the fish he cooks the fish so this is the minced fish we are just scalding the fish off and then when that didn't scald off he kind of do his thing on how he do his minced fish I'll let y'all see how we doing that so guys I'm putting in my seasonings now my Maggie cube I already put I'm putting in um, I already put in my black pepper and my dry thyme so now I'm putting in my Maggie cube Okay, and I will be dropping in my secret ingredient that I will not let you all guys see. So when I'm dropping my secret ingredient, I should say Bahamian secret ingredient that would be cooked with. Um, we don't let people see that for some reason, I guess. Some people would like to know, but it's a secret ingredient. That's why I call that. Now I will be putting in my two can of green pigeon peas with coconut milk. That's that. In focus and focus, focus. There you go. Island Queen is what we use. This. There's different name brands, but for some reason the coconut flavor in Island Queen tastes much better to I mean to me. Okay, now I'll be adding in my water.
got to put in a lot of water, guys, so, because you know grits have intention to suck up water like sponge. So you have to put at least five cups of water in your pot. If you're cooking peas and grits, you would have to put at least five cups of water. Now I'll put in the grits. So guys, I didn't put the grits in. I put about three pounds of grits inside here because we do. I cook it for um, we do eat on this pot because you know the longer food takes to set, the the, the sweeter the pot get for some reason. I don't know why the flavors just is merry and. You know, you get some young people out there, they don't like to eat leftover food. They like, um, they so used to the fast food. And that's why you get a lot of them o obese today. Okay, so you have to keep on storing this like every 15 minutes. You gotta come and give this a store until it's completely cooked through. And that's what I will be doing. And I'll come back to you guys and show you all. Okay, guys, so this is the herbs now. I'm frying on the herbs for the minced fish. And uh, Getting that all together. I can show you guys the grits, the peas and grits. Okay, and that's ooh, that's the peas and grits. Still cooking. Almost done. Guys, this is seasoning we are using for our minced fish. This is the Maggi Season Up for Fish. First time trying this though. So we'll see how it tastes. Our garlic. And uh, we'll... We'll be back. Everything looks dirty. Hey, look at my pot. Mm -mm. Okay, guys. So this is the minced fish. And that is Durgan fish. And this is the, again, the peas and grits. And then I'll show you all the aftermath. Okay. Okay, guys. This is the finished This is this how it finished right here. <laughs> this is it right here, guys. It's the peas and grits, the coleslaw and minced fish, and it tastes yum, yummy, real good.